Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture, but today I'm gonna to be trying out a bunch of different sculpting supplies from Timu. And before we get started, I just wanna introduce you to my little friend. This is my latest plush. I'm calling it the Holiday Hellion. He's just like the you know who on the you know what, and he will add some Christmas fear to your holiday display this year. So if you wanna grab one, he is up on my website, aceofclay.com right now. All right, let's get started. Got this package here from Timu. They sent me a bunch of stuff. I was able to pick out what I wanted to try and I'm going to give you a 100% honest review on all of the products. I bought pretty much every sculpting supply that they sell that looked worth it. So we're about to see if they actually are right now. So as you can see, I have not opened this yet. <laughs> it's been sitting on my kitchen table for about a week now. I like how instead of sending it in a box, they just sent it in like a big bag and then taped it like crazy. All of this stuff here is about $150 worth of stuff. So I feel like for all this crap you're getting, like that's a really good price. Let's just see if it's, you know, worth it. Air dry clay, we got polymer clay, of course. And then we've got a pasta maker. This is called a polymer clay press, according to them. Let's see if that holds up, it's pretty heavy. Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh, and then <laughs> I needed to pick out one more product to um, hit my budget. So I got this little guy. Look at it. <laughs> it's a cat dressed like a shark. Okay, we're really getting off topic. Okay. All right, so the first thing I want to try is the polymer clay press. It comes in this little box. This feels pretty nice. It's Got a good weight to it. I think it's a little bit smaller than my Makin's one. It's got a little crank here. Just gotta do it off the edge of the table. Hmm. Okay, little janky sounding, but this was $26.98. And as you can see, it looks, it's pretty legit. Like it feels exactly like my other one. Like I said, it's just a little bit smaller. So this is the Makin's one that I recommend. On Amazon, it's like 50 bucks, but as you can see, the size difference, this one's got a couple inches on this guy, but I mean, for half the price, you're really not losing that much size. Now let's see if this thing works. All right, and these, these rollers are metal. There's no like rubber coating on them like the Makin's one. I don't know if that's really gonna make a difference or not, but let's see. Our clay. Ah, death grip on this. I need to clamp it to the desk. As you can see, it works. Now let me see how it works with completely unconditioned clay. Hmm. It worked with pretty much no problem. Wow. This thing's pretty good. And this one's really not giving me any indication that it can't handle the unconditioned clay, which is cool. Let's try a thinner setting. Like that looks pretty good. It's got some like residue on it, which is kind of transferring to the clay. But I mean, I don't really care about that because I paint everything, but you know, run through some scrap clay first to get it nice and clean. Okay, so, you know, my first impression is that this machine is legit. It works very well and it's Ace Clay approved. So the Hobby Worker Polymer Clay Press is Ace Clay approved. You want to get it from Timu. It is $26.98. Set this aside, aka <laughs> throw it on the floor. Now next, let's try their polymer clay. I have no idea what this says, but we're just gonna See, what it, see what's up. There's 36 colors in here. So it comes with a little booklet. Oh look, a couple little tutorials. The package includes one storage box. Okay, what's in here? We got tools, we got, oh, a little earring accessories like ear hooks and um, eye pins and stuff if you wanna make jewelry, that's kinda cool. And this whole kit is 2148. So you get 36 colors. You get some cheap sculpting tools, which are, you know, just as I would expect them to be. They're just little plastic flimsy tools. Okay, now let's try some of the clay. So these look like they're, I wanna say one ounce bars, which is kind of small because, you know, Sculpey and, you know, Fimo and all the brands, they their bars are like two ounces. 
So, I mean, you're not really getting as much clay with this, but you're getting a ton of different colors. So let's see what this feels like. Okay, so it's really firm. I would compare this to a combination of Super Sculpey Medium and Super Sculpey Firm. It's like right in the middle there because it's not as firm as firm, but it's not as medium as medium. <laughs> but okay, overall, feels pretty good, pretty quick to condition, very fresh. So what are we gonna, let's make something really quick and then I'm gonna go bake it and see how it bakes. I'm really surprised with how nice this feels. Like I could definitely make a full sculpture out of this. And then let's see what the manual says about baking, if it says anything at all. Oh, here we go, look. Oven bake recommended, blah, 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 blah. 248 to 266 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. So we all know that polymer clay, pretty much like cost clay, Sculpey, it's all 275 Fahrenheit. This is saying 248 to 266, so it's a little bit lower. We're gonna take their advice. For 15 to 30 minutes, baking time may vary according to clay thickness, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not exceed the recommended baking time, baking blah, 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 blah. And it also has, look at this, hair blower heating. Then it looks like it gives you other methods for baking or curing the clay. The hair blower method. Put the works into the paper box and blow it for three to five minutes to become hardened. What? So I'm gonna say right off the bat, I would recommend this kit for like small children that wanna start sculpting. It's a very basic kit and maybe like don't give the small children these things. But let's go harden the clay and see how it turns out. All right, so I got that in the oven at 265. They recommended like 266 and it's in there for 15 minutes. So we'll see how it turns out. And until then, let's start looking at some of these other things we've got here. All right, what do we wanna do next? Let's do the clay extruder. I used to have one of these, but then I lost all the pieces. Kind of junky packaging. Let's see how much this costs. 518, so not bad. One of these at the craft store is gonna run you like over $20. Packaging is garbage. All right, so I got this. And we're going to, okay, it feels super cheap, but what do you expect for a $5 clay extruder, you know? Okay, so what you gotta do, so we'll pick a bit, do this one. And then it's got this nice big handle on it, which is nice. And you're just gonna screw it in until it starts coming out. Almost there, there it is. Okay, I think you get the gist of it. Look at that nice, even snake of clay. Wow, not bad. Okay, so compared to the price of a lot of other things that I'm gonna be looking at from Timu, $5 does kind of seem like a lot, and this does feel really cheap. This doesn't feel like a high quality product, but it gets the job done, and you're not spending 20 to $30 on, you know, a really heavy duty one. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, I just wanna take a second to talk about the brand new desk that I've been using in my office. This is the FlexiSpot Premium Standing Desk E7. This desk is not only sleek in the black color I got it in, it is super sturdy. My favorite feature, of course, is the ability to raise and lower it so I can use it whether I'm standing or sitting. It has dual motors that are super smooth and quiet and everything can be controlled with this cool touchscreen keypad. It also includes a cable management system to keep all of your cords organized for a truly clutter-free workspace. It has a built-in charger, custom height presets, and a child lock. It also comes with an optional drawer for extra storage space. I got mine in all black, as you can see, but you can customize yours with different desktop finishes and leg colors. This desk is great for whatever kind of workspace you need. Whether you're working from home on your laptop or you're sculpting and painting, it is the solution for you. And you know me, I would never recommend something to you that I personally did not love, and trust me, I love this desk. And now to make this even better, the FlexiSpot Black Friday sale is going on right now. Use my code FlexiSpot30 to get an extra $30 off their E7 and E7 Pro standing desks and C7 ergonomic chair. You don't wanna miss this chance. Thanks again, FlexiSpot, for sponsoring. Now back to the video. Now for the next thing, let's look at these. Now this is just like, wow, this is a really crappy package that looks like it's been sitting out in a warehouse for God knows how long. Like look, the plastic's all cloudy, but it's not really about the packaging, it's more about what's inside. So let's see what's inside. This is a very standard 
sculpting tool set. And if you're working with polymer clay, this really isn't that useful because the tools are very large and it's meant mainly for ceramic clay or wax clay and larger sculptures and stuff. So we got some smoothing tools here. These are wood it, that's been stained so it looks prettier than you know the regular pine or whatever these are made out of. So they're a little fancier looking. So these are $7.48 for the entire set. You get this cheap plastic bag to put them in if you want to. You get a sponge to wet your clay. Again, these aren't really made for polymer clay. Look at how big that gouging tool is. Like, what you gouging with that, huh? And, but this knife is nice. It's got a, you know, a pretty sharp edge on it. And this can be useful for, pol for polymer clay. This is really huge. So no. So yeah, um, save your money on this one. But you know, if you're into ceramic clay or something and you know, seven, 750 is a good price point for you to get some tools, then I guess go for it. But these are just like super cheap and junky. And this thing is really flimsy. I have one of these that's way thicker. All right, next up, we've got some rubber shaper tools. I have never seen these this kind before. Okay, you get three of them in a pack. These are, um, again, rubber shaper tools. They seem really cheap, but they're only $3.50, so $3.48, so that's really not bad. The quality doesn't feel that great. This one's like super bendable and flimsy. I mean, this is wood. Can't really bend that, but let's see how they work in the clay. So yeah. You definitely have to put a good amount of pressure onto these so that they work. Very flimsy. No, these are way, way too soft. So don't get these. Oh, look at that. And the thing popped out. And I'm gonna try to get that back in there. Yeah, no, no. these are not worth 350. Okay, moving on to the next thing. These rubber shapers are, sh all right, let's try another set of shapers. Let's see if they can redeem themselves. All right, so this pack comes with 10 different tools. These are the blue ones. And right off the bat, they are way firmer than those other ones. And I actually have this set. Like this is the set that I've been using for years, the smaller one here. And like the other end is a, it's a ball stylus set on one side and then it's a rubber shaper on the other. So these are really good and you're not gonna believe how much these cost for all 10 shapers and ball styluses they are only a dollar 97 so two bucks will get you some decent quality rubber shaper tools so let's see how they perform on my dirty ball of clay so we've got all like you know the standard shapes the large ones i mean you know just because they're so big they're kind of flimsy but i mean you can definitely get these to work for you for sure Yeah, I definitely like these. These have been in my drawer, like I said, for years, and they're pretty good. And they're a good firmness too. Like they're not too soft, but they're not too hard. I do like firmer ones though, I will say that. But if you're just getting started or you know, if you're in the market for some new ball styluses and rubber shapers, I recommend these. Two bucks, 10 pack, you really can't beat that. So these are Ace of Clay approved. All right, this is the 21 piece sculpting tool set. It is $6.48. These things are all over the place and it is what comes up when you type in sculpting tools on a shopping website. <laughs> this, is, this is like the standard, I feel like baseline sculpting tool set that I know a lot of you guys already have. They sell these at the craft store. They're kind of just like, in my opinion, they're a bunch of like useless tools, but they do work. They just don't work for me. Got this little spatula thing and pin tool, serrated blades. This is like a palette knife. I wonder how long this would last for, to be honest with you. And then just a bunch of other tools that are like very repetitive and annoying. Like why do I have two of these? And then another pin, you know what I mean? Like if you're gonna spend money on sculpting tools, I feel like this isn't the route to go. But again, they're only 650. So I mean, here we got one, two, three, four, four pin tools alone. You know, so you're not really getting much bang for your buck if you're getting the same tool four times. And then you got all these other like borderline useless tools. And then this like spatula. I mean, you know, 
I shouldn't knock them that hard because they are, you know, they are, they are useful. I just think they're just kind of junky and they're not going to last you your whole sculpting career. But if you're just getting started and you want like, you know, a quick beginner set, I guess you can go for something like this again, you know, seven bucks for 21 different tools it is pretty reasonable. I don't really know what you would use this tool for, this like bottle brush. If you're gonna go the this route and get this tool set, I would recommend getting one with fewer tools in it because there are so many duplicates in this one, you're kind of paying more just to have more of the same tools. So I would recommend just getting a cheaper pack that maybe has like, eight to 10 different tools in it. I wouldn't splurge on the 21 piece set. Okay, let's save this one for last because that's like super fancy. All right, now I really wanted to try these because this is a tool that I do not own. Okay, coming through. All right, and these are nice. I can tell they're nice just by holding them. They're very, very, very heavy. Okay, these are $5.48 for the set, but you're actually like getting your money's worth from them. These are extremely sharp. Like you could definitely kill someone with these, but I just think they are a great tool for um, creating like folds and wrinkles on things. And you can press in your wrinkles, super easy. It comes to that nice, sharp taper. These are beautiful. These are amazing. I highly, highly recommend them. I don't know if I necessarily recommend the two pack because you're just getting two of the same tool. 100% recommend these. Super heavy, super high quality. Just don't get the two pack unless you really want two of them. All right, next up, whatever's in this bag. Oh, okay, here we go. This is the two pack of more of those needle tools, but this one, the two pack has two different sizes. And that's amazing. We got this one here, the thick one, and this is the thin one. Now these are a little thicker at the tip than the other ones, which I love, which just gives you more, you know, variation with what you can do with it. You know, you can make thicker lines, you can make thinner ones, and they don't come to as sharp of a point as this one. This one is also 548 for the two tools. Again, these are both really really heavy too which is nice all right next up we've got something else let's see what's in here another one <laughs> i i ordered a lot of these apparently and this one is the same or no it's not this is like a medium size right here again another awesome needle tool and i think this is another set of those <laughs> oh no it's not all right this is a three pack of stainless steel tools that are rubber wrapped. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I like how skinny they are. This is the one end. This is the other end. These actually seem like they're pretty good quality, probably because they're stainless steel and they're only $2.48. This is a great little set to have in your arsenal. I can just tell. They're pretty darn sturdy. I like how they feel in my hand, even though they're like super thin. I kind of like it, if that makes sense. I don't know how useful these tips really are, like this one especially, like I'm not really sure what you're gonna do with this one, but I'm sure you'll find something. But these two, hmm, not bad. All right, this is a set that came in like a little pouch, or a big pouch, I should say. I should say. Ooh, smells like chemicals. This is a 24 piece paintbrush set and it is only $9.98, which is not bad for 24 paintbrushes. I would honestly have to use these for a few weeks and on a few different sculptures to really come to a full conclusion on them because paintbrushes, you know, they may feel great like at first, but then you start using them and they just fall apart. But I mean, for 10 bucks, and this many brushes. Like you're not gonna be using every single one of these brushes every single time. You're gonna be using, you know, maybe three or four, you know, depending on your sculpture. And I think that's a pretty darn good value for this many, this many pieces. And it comes in this nice roll up set, which I personally hate because I am not gonna sit here and like put each brush individually back into these little 
holders every single time. Like maybe I'll do it the first or second time, but like after that, they just go in a drawer. But if you're into that and you like putting your stuff away in a cute little pouch when you're done with it, you know, hey, more power to you. <laughs> That's not me, but this kind of like rolls out like this. And then it has a little band that goes around it. 24 piece set. The, the pouch is pretty, pretty good quality too. And it's got this like plastic liner in it, which is nice because then it won't, you know, stain the chemically smelling fabric, but I'm sure that smell will go away eventually. But these are definitely synthetic brushes. I like the color of them. I like, they're very soft. And I think, you know, this is, again, this is a good deal. So I don't really want to completely stand behind them, but if you want to buy these and try them out, um, I think I think you'll have good results. And the last one, I want to say, this is another paintbrush set too, but I could be wrong. I really don't remember what I ordered. And it didn't come with like a packing list or anything. Oh, okay, sculpting tools. Okay, now this is what I'm what I'm talking about. Like when I was telling you earlier, if you buy that 21 piece set for 750 or whatever, this is a way better option because this one is only 1098 and it comes with 25 pieces and the pieces aren't just a bunch of these random wooden ones. Yeah, you're getting some of these like useless ends like what are you going to drill with this? Like I have no idea. But all the other tools that it comes with make up for it and I don't think you're not really getting as many doubles. You do get the wooden tools. Here you get a little sponge, you get you know this nice little wedge tool, these things that are really good for ceramic clay or pottery, but this can also be used for polymer too. I like, I like the shape of this a lot. Like this can be used for more of those wrinkles, those wrinkles and like rolling it to smooth surfaces. And overall, I just think this is a better set and you get this nice little carrying case. For all of it. Again, you know my thoughts on these. And then you get the rubber shapers. These are nice and firm. Yeah, these feel pretty good. And then you got plastic ball styluses, which I mean, I don't love plastic tools just because they're flimsy, but I mean, there's only four of them and the plastic seems kind of sturdy, but like right here, like this is kind of cool. This is a, like a wood texture roller where you just like, it's got like that textured end on it and you just like roll it like that. So that'll give you, you know, some interesting textures. You can also even like use this if you wanted to for something. Like that's like a, it could be like a hair type of texture. And then you get another texture end on this one, which gives you that. And the lines get wider depending on what area of the tool you're using. And then the ball styluses though, they're just, they're kind of clunky, but the texture things are cool. This is another tool. And then this thing, not really sure what you're gonna do with that. Make a smiley face, I guess. Overall, not bad. I enjoy the little texture things. And then you get these ball styluses. I actually have this set in my own personal stash. You see them in my videos sometimes. Nice and heavy. And they come with this like giant one, which I really enjoy. And these are actually like, I think these are better quality than the ones I have because these are way heavier. But I mean, you know, this thing, means business. I mean, I, come on, like this is not bad for $11, like come on. All right, last on our list is this big box of air dry clay that again, looks like it's been sitting in a warehouse for 50 years, costs $31.98. So that's the most expensive thing that we've tried today. And I don't even use air dry clay, but you know, nothing against it. I just like polymer clay. Wow, look at all that. Okay, so $31, you get tutorials on how to make all these different things, but you don't need a tutorial book, you've got me. Okay, again, we got these cheap little tools that you could just like throw in the garbage. Uh, little plastic bags, probably to hold your unused clay. And then all this, these little accessory things. Oh, that's kind of neat. Comes with these little springs. You can make yourself like a little bobblehead or something. That's kind of cool. Then you got like googly eyes and jewelry accessory parts and little phone lanyard things, eye pins, styrofoam hearts. And then you've got, what's this? More accessories. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you got a little like <laughs> Mr. Potato Head action going on here. So you can make like a little character and then like use these little 
accessories to add to it. You got some feet, some eyes, some hats. You can, of course, paint these if you want. Look, wings. Okay, this is like harmless fun. Okay, so if you've got little kids, this looks like a blast. Like, I wanna go do this with my nephews and nieces. I would have loved this if I was little. So we've got 50 colors of clay. Let's see, it feels really, really soft. Oh, what the heck? Interesting. Oh, that feels gummy. I think, oh, that's really gummy. Let's just grab a scoop of it out. Oh. No. Um. <laughs> no. 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 Are you seeing this right now? Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do with this? I'm really bummed out. This, this looks so promising. Am I not doing something right? Like, I'm trying to like ball it up and like at least get it off my hands, but it's like just smearing around. Okay, don't buy this. This was $31.98 and I'm, I'm sure all of the colors are like this. Okay, don't buy this. <laughs> This was really cool. The idea of it is really cool, but like, I don't know what the hell happened to this clay. It must've just been sitting there for too long, but do not waste your money on this. This is not Ace of Clay approved. I don't even know how you're, I'm supposed to get this off now. Like it, like it wants to come off. I'm going to go clean my hands and then we're going to see how the polymer clay baked. All right, and now lastly, let's see how the clay baked. It looks pretty good and it's kind of flexible. I baked this at 265 for 15 minutes in a preheated oven. It's literally, it's flexible. What? Hmm. <laughs> but it broke. But it's still pretty flexible. And it does take a lot to break it, but that's kind of cool. Yeah, I could definitely, I would definitely use this clay. And like I said, it did break, but I was, it's not claiming to be flexible or anything. And it did have a lot of flex in it. All right, that's a wrap. We tried out $150 worth of sculpting supplies from Timu. I was really surprised and satisfied with a lot of the products that I tried out. There were a lot of hits, a lot of misses, a couple obvious misses, but overall I thought this was a pretty pleasant experience and a lot of their products seem to be legit. So if you want to enjoy some sculpting products from Timu, you can get 30% off your entire purchase right now if you download the app as a new user, or you can use my code DKK7238. So as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.